Hey everyone and welcome back to Salem. In this episode we're going to be going over some essential building tips for new players. Uh, I did move my location a bit from the last episode only because the, ep the area over there was a little bit elevated and it would be difficult to build on so I decided to build in a more flat area. Now I did enlarge the claim a little bit. It cost about 90 silver I believe to do this area. It's a uh, 81 meters, 81 square meter area so it's pretty nice can fit some boxes and other items and for anyone to come in here it would actually be a crime to come in here and for them to steal from me as you can see I've set this as my homestead so if they want to steal from me and by doing that they would leave a they would leave a scent and I could track that so I've set my homestead here at this claim and I've enlarged the area so that I can have some some security pretty much some security and some area to build Another thing I want to mention is that anything built on this side, this area will not decay. Anything built outside the area and anything that stays outside the area uh, for too long will actually take hit point damage to its, uh, to its hit points. And over time, eventually it can actually pretty much disappear, and that's called decay. So I am claiming this area to build things on, and that way I won't have to worry about it too much. This uh, episode will not show any uh, wall building because we don't have any skill to make locks so to me I think that's kinda of pointless if you can't make locks there's no reason really to have walls because anyone that wants to come in will just open the doors <laughs> so I'm pretty much leaving that out of this video but this video is just supposed to show new players uh, some basic things that they might want to have including these two items that I have here so I'll go over these now the first one is very easy uh, it's called a whittling bench and all you need is the whittling skill the second one is the Sawbuck, it's relatively easy to make, but the only problem is it requires one nail. And to get the nail, you can either do two methods. The first is to port to Providence, open the NPC stall, which you sold your Indian, uh, your Savage Charms before, and you can actually buy nails for 35 silver. Slightly expensive, so I prefer going into the player stalls. Now to get to the player stalls, you go to Providence the same way you would go to the NPC stalls, but you would actually walk east uh, on your map, which is to the right. And you look for the player stalls, and there's a ton of them to the east of the spawn area. And you can buy nails for, I think, 10 to 20 silver each. Very cheap. Uh, a lot cheaper than the NPC stalls would be. And these, this requires one, so for me it costs about 20 silver for the nail. And hence, this, this saw book cost me 20 silver in overall, because I don't count the use of logs, or, or uh, wood blocks as they're called. So, now I want to show you how to use the saw book and how you can make yourself some storage, some boxes. So I've already pre-cut uh, pre the log here. I pre-cut the tree so I'd have a log. Um, but the way you cut a tree is you would right-click a tree and you would chop it. Very easy. Uh, it takes about, I'd say, a minute or less to chop the tree and it gives you a lot of boards. So I'm not going to worry about showing you how to do that. I'm sure you can figure that out on yourself now. Now I want to open up my adventure tab, go to lift, and lift this this logo. Now whenever you're lifting something you actually get a small drain on your phlegm over time. Your, it's, it's the blue the blue bar and that will drain over time slowly so you want to you don't want to be holding anything too long. So I'm going to be clicking on the saw book with my right click and as you can see it plopped down there and to cut the the log to make boards you're actually going to need a saw. So I'm going to go to my crafting menu uh, my tools and my stone saw and it requires one wood block and one granite so let's see what I have here I don't have I have wood block but I don't have granite so I remember that there was some granite to the northwest over here so we are almost back at the homestead here and I have my my stone my stone axe so I'm going to unequip the axe and I'm going to equip the stone saw sorry and I will get some boards now I need five boards to make a box we have the sides in the bottom and while I'm doing this I will go to my processing materials and wooden plugs and that's located in the uh, processing materials now I can't even carry that much so let me uh, let me actually drop one of these, just because it might weigh me down too much. I'm going to go to my 
Sorry, I'm going to go to my building tab, and I'm going to go to containers. Looks like a chest. And I'm going to start a wooden box. Now with the Ender's client that I'm using, I can hold shift and scroll down uh, on the item that I want to build with, and it'll add the item for me a lot faster. So I'm going to do that just as a shortcut. And I'm going to start building so that the items don't disappear. If you don't build into a sign, a building sign, the object will actually disappear eventually, so you don't want to do that. Okay, now I just need one more board and four wooden plugs. And as you can see, wooden plugs only require one wood block. So if I need four, I will need two wood blocks. So I'm going to make those those uh, four. Oh, uh, one second too early. There we go. Okay. Now we will complete the box, and I will show you how great it is to have a box. <laughs> because when you're a new player, you have so much stuff that you're carrying and you never really want to get rid of it. Uh, especially because a lot of this game is about hoarding. So now I can just put all my items in the box. Very easy. I can actually just shift click them too with this client. I think you can do that with the default client as well. So I'm just going to put some items that I want to keep. Nails. Let's see here, I have uh, some Walking the Beetle inspirationals. So now I'm actually at 13 carry weight, I saved a little bit of space, and I will, of course, I'm going to make some more of these, so I will come back to the video after I've made a few more. Alright, so I've gotten done with the boxes, and as you can see, most of them are full except for the last one. Now, I want to show you some final items that you're going to, or sorry, some final structures you're going to want to make uh, in order to make your settlement just enough that you can start really doing some things now. Uh, the first one I'm going to make is a fireplace, and I'll show you how to do that. They call it a fireplace, I'll just call it a fireplace too, but it's really pretty much like the fire pit. So I'm going to shift alt click my stone, as you saw before. Uh, that lets me withdraw everything of the same item from a container. Same thing, I can also shift, shift alt click the items back in, and that will let me transfer the items all together. So that's a little, little nifty tip from the custom client. Now if you go to your build menu and you go to, I believe it's the buildings and structures, uh, you can go to fireplace and I'm going to place it right here. Okay, and I will do what I showed you before, I will shift scroll the, the stones in and I will build the fireplace very quick. Now what the fireplace does is pretty obvious, you can put some sticks in it and you can make a fire. And with the fire, you can actually cook some items, and I'll be showing that probably in the next episode how to how to get your own food and cook some items. Uh, but for this video, it's just going to show you how to set up the stuff. So now you have your own fireplace that you can start cooking with. The next item you're going to want is the sorry tables and chairs. You're going to go, want to go into leafy bed, and you're going to build that. And I will build that. I guess I'll build that right here. Okay. So you're going to need some oak duff and some myrtle oak leaves. I've already gotten the the myrtle oak leaves and the oak duff. The way you get oak duff is by going into one of the green biomes and looking for oak trees and you can harvest the duff there. Uh, the myrtle oak leaves you get from bushes. Maple leaves you get from of course maple trees which look like this. So I've gotten the the first two, all of them, and I will build those in as I told you before. You don't want to lose any items that you've placed, so you want to build them all as soon as you have them. Now I will go to the maple tree. Pick two leaves. And now I just need some branches. I think I needed four, I'm not sure. I'll just get a few more just in case. Now my bed is done, and what I can do is I can right click on it to sleep in it and it'll log me out automatically so now I don't have to wait for the logout uh, animation to complete which takes about I think 
30 seconds or so, 20 seconds maybe. Uh, so it's a little bit of a little bit of a bother if you want to wait for it. So I always like to just sleep in it. It's an instant logout. Now the final thing you will want is a drying frame, and this is for hunting later on. But I'm going to show it now since it's so easy to make. I think it just requires some sticks. So build that. And what this does is I'll show you. You can open it, and you can put raw hides. Uh, you can also put fish and some other items such as tea leaves even, and you can dry them on this drying frame. Uh, each one has a different length of time that it takes to dry the item, but it's very easy. Uh, you just put them on there and wait, pretty much. So, now we have the typical new player uh, setup. We have a nice little setup. We have some boxes for storage. We have a whittling bench. We have a carpenter. Uh, we have a uh, saw book. We have a bed, and we also have the drying frame. And now we're pretty much ready to go. So in the next episode, I'll be going over some hunting uh, and possibly some cooking as well that we can do with the hunting after. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.